The reason that you're not going viral on TikTok right now is simply because you're posting content in the wrong length, not using the right features, and you're messing up two other things I'm gonna share with you towards the end of this video. For example, did you know that you could literally use CountTik.com right now to figure out the best time to post for your specific niche by simply looking up one of your competitor's profiles, looking at their top recent posts, and seeing what time they were posted. If you do this across two to three competitors, guess what ends up happening? You're able to see the best time to post for your specific audience that you're trying to reach and this makes it a hundred times easier for you to actually get the views that you want because if you're posting at the wrong time right now on TikTok, well, guess what? The wrong audience is seeing your content, which is why you're not getting the metrics that you need in order for your post to go viral. You could literally post the same exact piece of content with the same hashtags, the same description, the same video, but posting at the wrong time, which by the way, just a few minutes could be the wrong time, could lead to you seeing a massive decrease in the amount of views that you get. Now, before I share with you exactly what length to make your content and all that other stuff, I need you to smash that subscribe but if you want to grow quicker on TikTok, Instagram, or YouTube, I literally upload a video every single day about how to grow on these platforms. In addition to that, I just created a free TikTok growth course. You could get it the pinned comment below. It's going to tell you things like how the algorithm actually works and the best hashtags to use because if you mess those two things up, you're probably never going to go viral. What are you waiting for? Go to the pinned comment below. It's literally 100% free. First and foremost, TikTok is pushing out three different types of content right now that are doing really, really well. The first one are going to be shopping posts and you need to actually understand how this works. It's not as simple as just doing a shopping post. You need to find exactly what shopping products are trending because here's how TikTok works. Basically, they've been able to do organically exactly what other companies do with ads. Have you ever seen an ad for something on YouTube, on Facebook, or on Instagram, and then you keep seeing it over and over again and eventually you buy? Well, that's exactly exactly what TikTok is doing, except they're doing it organically. So if somebody sees a video for a hairbrush and they watch the video or they like the video or they comment on the video or they share the video, guess what ends up happening? TikTok then keeps showing them more and more videos on that same exact product. And then as a result, they end up buying it. They understand this and you can take advantage of this by finding what products are trending, creating content about them, and then getting sucked into that vacuum of TikTok trying to continually push that product to this person or to a lot of people, then as a result, you end up getting more views and you could even make some money from TikTok. But that's not the only thing they're pushing. The second thing that they're pushing are meme posts. Meme posts are doing incredible right now on TikTok because the TikTok algorithm wants to show people content similar to things that they've watched before in the past. So if somebody interacted with a meme, guess what ends up happening? Make a meme about another niche that they're interested in and boom, you end up getting a ton of views. And on top of that, they're pushing carousel posts like crazy. Essentially what you wanna do is have four to five slides and you wanna make sure that that first slide has a really good hook on it, the rest of them tell a story and then you need to end it with a really good call to action slide. If you could get people from the beginning to the end, guess what ends up happening? You skyrocket the amount of engagement that you get and so many people are gonna follow you from this that TikTok is literally gonna push out your content and make you go viral. Now, when it comes to the best length to use, you just need to make sure that you're not getting caught in the middle and you're probably wondering what I mean by this. Two types of lengths really work right now on TikTok. The first one is gonna be content really short, but not less than five seconds long. And the second is going to be content that is over 60 seconds long. TikTok has literally come out and said that more than 50% of people on TikTok engage with content over 60 seconds long. And creators that make content over 60 seconds long actually get paid by TikTok. So guess what you need to be doing? You need to be leveling up your content and trying to make it longer. But you do not want to get stuck in that no man's land, which is going to be content that's both not short and not long, which results in TikTok not actually having an audience for the piece of content that you're creating. Because remember, the amount of views that you get, whether or not you go viral, is going to be based off of how many people are interested in that topic and how many people watch content in this specific length that you created for that topic. Because TikTok is not only looking at whether or not they're interested in the video, they're also looking at whether or not you made content the right length. For example, if we go back to one of the posts that I mentioned earlier, doing a meme post, if all the memes were five seconds long, and you you made yours six seconds long, guess what happens? Your video doesn't get pushed out because TikTok doesn't actually think that people are going to interact with it. And yes, a one second difference could actually be the difference between you going viral or you being stuck in 250 view jail. But just changing those two things isn't gonna be enough because the TikTok algorithm has completely changed. In the past, TikTok literally pushed your content to anybody, but it doesn't work like that anymore. Now, you need to make sure that you're actually posting about something that is trending within your specific niche and the trends can change every single day. And remember, when you hop on a trend, you find something that works, you need to double down on it. 
you need to triple down on it. You need to cancel everything that you have going on. Don't go to school, don't go to work, don't go to that doctor's appointment because you need to double down on that content. I know, that was a little bit of an exaggeration, but you get the point. When something works, you need to hammer that thing because these trends don't last as long as they used to back in the day. Like literally, Charlie D'Amelio wrote a trend for like a year and got tens of millions of followers. That doesn't happen anymore, but you can write a trend and get tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, or I've even seen creators today get a million followers in a really short period of time simply by writing a trend that was working. So in order to find content that actually works, you need to be looking in three places. One, you need to look at your competitors, but not your competitors with a lot of followers. You wanna look at other small accounts and see what videos are getting them more views than they have followers, because clearly that means TikTok liked pushing out that piece of content. The second thing that you could do is look for things that your audience is actually searching for. If you can rank for search, you'll get views 24 seven, and then TikTok continues to push out your content, because I'm sure you've all had this experience. You watch a piece of content, and then you keep seeing that creator over and over again, or you keep seeing content like that over and over again. Well, guess what? You're gonna be able to tap into this. You could tap into search because then the rest of the content that you create is also going to get pushed to those individuals and it basically makes you get views 24 seven on every single video that you create. But that other thing you need to make sure you're doing is actually doing a search for things on TikTok. If you do a search for something, you can figure out very quickly the right words to put in your title, the right words to put in your hook, the right words to say in your voiceover, and the right words to put in your description because if you're not doing those four things correctly, TikTok isn't actually gonna know who you're trying to hit with that piece of content and then as a result, you end up not getting views. Or you might literally be messing up the most important thing when it comes to growing on TikTok right now, which is that you have a really good hook in your content. You need to understand something. The first three seconds of your video is going to be the reason that you get views or you don't get views. So you can literally just change the first three seconds and create a brand new piece of content. In fact, I strongly suggest that you do this. Now, what you need to make sure that you're doing is actually appealing to your audience. So. I just shared with you exactly how you could find what is trending within your niche. And what you need to do is study the first three seconds of those videos. What text do they have on the screen? What are they saying? What are they doing? What sound do they have going? How quickly do the camera angles change? These things all equate to the hook that they created. And that hook is the difference between why they're going viral and you're not going viral. And all you have to do is take that hook, make it your own, and you can increase the amount of reach that you get. On top of that, you need to make sure that you're not making a few mistakes, like one, posting way too much on TikTok. I would never post more than four times a day. Right now, I would post one to two times a day. You could post less than that, but ideally, one to two times a day, and when things begin to work, that's when you can increase to three to four times a day, but I wouldn't post three to four times a day every single day, because what's going to end up happening is you're not going to be actually putting in the effort that you need to in order to create the right hook, come up with the right topic, do the right edits, or just create the right piece of content. So it would be better if you you took a little bit more time to do that, get out one to two posts a day, staying consistent with the TikTok algorithm, and boom. This is actually gonna help you go viral if you implement everything else that I shared with you in this video, because right now is the easiest time ever to go viral on TikTok so long as you're posting the right content. But if you're posting the wrong content, it's gonna be harder than ever before to grow because so many more people are posting within your niche and you need to make sure that you're actually creating better content than them if you want the TikTok algorithm to make you go viral. And since you're so serious about growing on TikTok, I personally wanna look at your account and tell you everything that I would do differently for your specific account. If that sounds interesting, well, please keep watching this video because I've got a special offer for you. The opportunity to grow on TikTok and this organic reach that we're currently seeing is not going to last for forever. And the only two things holding you back from getting the followers that you deserve right now on TikTok and the followers that you want is one, you haven't implemented the steps that I share with you in this video to help you get more followers. And two, you haven't gotten into my TikTok mentorship program yet where I literally am going to guarantee that I help you get more followers in the next 30 days or you get your money back zero questions asked. And the way that this works is I'm gonna tell you exactly what to post, when to post, what hashtags to use to guarantee that you get more followers in the next 30 days. If that sounds interesting, and then please go to the link in the description below and get signed up right now. The average person that's gone through this program has gained over 50,000 followers and nobody has ever gone through it and gained less than 6,500 followers if they implemented everything that I share with them. And since you're still watching this video, I'm gonna assume that you're above average. So the odds of you gaining over 50,000 followers is probably quite high. And it doesn't matter what your background is or what your niche is. This program is gonna help you get more results faster and easier. If you're struggling right now to grow on TikTok, you need to get into this because every single day that you wait, it's 
it's only gonna get harder to grow. So what are you waiting for? Go to the link in the description below and sign up right now. You literally have absolutely nothing to lose. You're gonna get more followers on TikTok or you're gonna get your money back. In fact, this creator just went through this program and gained over 10 million followers. This creator, over 14 million. And this creator, over 16 million. And I want you to be my next success story. So please stop procrastinating, invest in yourself now, and get the TikTok followers that ultimately you deserve. Or I strongly suggest you check out the next two videos I put up on the screen because they're the videos YouTube thinks you should watch next. Thank you so much for watching.